I'm going to present a compilation of techniques that were practiced and taught by the original masters of Shiatsu Tzu from China, Okinawa, Korea, Japan, people like Masanaga, Suzuko Yamamoto, Michio Kushi, Boeing Lee, and others. Due to the accreditation process that has taken place in many countries over the last years, these techniques have been lost or put aside. The techniques have also been put aside and not taught in recent times because of a change of mindset in Shiatsu where the focus has become treatment of meridians. It was very different than the original practice of Shiatsu. The original diagnosis in Shiatsu is very simple. And I remember several of my teachers saying it in this way. Look at the whole body. See if Qi moves or Qi doesn't move. If Qi doesn't move, make Qi move. And so these techniques are the techniques that they would use to activate Qi. Now, it could be that Qi was stuck or stagnated or blocked. Or it could be that Qi was absent, missing. It's come to be called Kyo in this time period. Either way, the same techniques either activate missing chi or release block chi, really depending on the intention of the practitioner. These are very effective tools. A lot of them are a synthesis between Eastern modality and Western because a lot of those original teachers also borrowed from Western technique and synthesized with their own traditional technique that had been practiced really for centuries under different names, under no names, techniques that were called barefoot techniques, meaning that it was just practiced within the family and passed down from one generation to the next. They weren't really considered to be a profession, but then they were incorporated in the more professional practices. And at some point in the 20th century, the word shiatsu was created and used as an umbrella label for many of these practices. And that also explains why there's so many approaches to Shiatsu. So I hope you enjoy this series of techniques, the traditional techniques that make Qi move, get Qi back into circulation throughout the body. <laughs>